as governments around the world try to harness the power of technology to improve pandemic response, African countries are not left out as they continue to emerge as leaders in the COVID-19 tech revolution. This has brought together some stakeholders who are educating young girls on the importance of utilizing their potential towards the tech industry. There is more in this report. Beyond the health risk of COVID-19, Many would agree that it has created a diverse form of job opportunities and expanded creativity and innovation. More of these innovations could be found in young people. For this reason, this group of people brought together girls to educate them on the importance of technology in this changing world. Tech is the language of the future. If you go to the market and you know how to speak Hausa, definitely will give you more. Is that right? You understand? So if you can speak the language of the future more, then you can get the best out of the future. We have this really big dream for them, that these girls, once we see the improvement, once we see their, their passion, we are going to be taking them, they are going to be recruited by tech companies. 13-year-old Mojoi Adeshino is an author, programmer, and illustrator. She describes her experience in the tech world. Around 2019, yes, I was nine years old, and my mom took us, me and my siblings, to um, summer camp, and they taught coding. So my mom told us to learn it because it was important in this generation. She also delves deeper into how important technology is, not just for now, but also the future. After the pandemic, everybody was like, um, like the pandemic was boring, everybody had to do something interesting and they had to move to tech because it's quite easier, more accessible. So I feel like tech is going to grow more and more as years goes on. So I mean, we should, everybody should get into tech to know about it because tech is like the future. For every one of you here, you are here to break the norm. Although Africa has about 490 million people living below the poverty line, these stakeholders believe they can reach the nooks and crannies to educate young girls. Especially the girl child in underserved and poor areas, they are more at risk for victimization of violence, of trafficking, of you, you, know, you name it. So, a lot of these programs are in fact aimed at going into these areas for underserved. Our teacher training program, for example, that we recently did, is really designed to go back into the communities and get to those girls who are underserved. Nobody envisaged uh, COVID-19. It came and it taught us uh, so many lessons. And I think when it comes to technology, it has come to stay. And we don't want our girls to lag behind. Somehow, Women's the perception of what women should do has been defined by society. But that's changing. Education is changing that. Technology is changing that. Explore is changing that. Women are now very productive. Women are contributing to the economy, to the home, to the household. Women have always done that. Even being as mothers and being, they've always done that. But now, they're not transforming that informal contribution to formal. Young girls like Mojoi have changed the narrative of how women should be perceived and thus spurred necessary stakeholders to put in more efforts. In Niulua, Okola, TVC News, Lagos.